Welcome to A Teacher Reads a Book. Birds Build Nests. Written by Yvonne Weiner, illustrated by Tony Oliver. Birds build nests secret and deep, in holes in old trees or banks that are steep. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests where water birds wade, large floating rafts in the lotus bloom's shade. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests tranquil and dark in old hollow trees with rough weathered bark. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests silhouetted up high like magic castles perched in the sky. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests on islands at sea, ocean rookeries for birds wild and free. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests, eggs deep inside. Secret spaces where fledglings hide. That's how birds build their nests. Birds build nests from mud rich and brown, delicately lined with velvet and down. That's how birds build their nests. Birds build nests, true tailors of old, stitching intricate patterns of russet and gold. That's how birds build their nests. Birds build nests, delicate and small, a spiderweb fantasy hidden from all. That's how birds build their nests. Birds build nests on rough, craggy peaks, high in the mountains, above valleys so deep. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests in mounds that are warm, havens from predators, secure from all harm. That's why birds build their nests. Birds build nests as waves splash the land, camouflaged eggs among seashells and sand. That's where birds build their nests. Birds build nests as spring comes once more, invisible hollows on the vast tundra floor. That's when birds build their nests. Birds build nests from morning till night. Tireless weavers, designers in flight. That's when birds build their nests. Nest Identification Guide. There have been over 9,000 species of birds identified worldwide. Their nests vary from the most amazing, delicate, hidden pouches made from spider webs and lichen to vast tower-like stick structures on telegraph poles, steeples, and cliff ledges. Other nests are no more than shallow hollows in the ground. Birds are clever architects. 
that design their nests to protect their eggs and young, often in underground tunnels, meticulous mud homes, or floating rafts. From the way they build their nests, we can see that some birds live in large sociable communities. Other birds may never build their own homes. Instead, they sneak their eggs into the nests of other species. The following identification guide describes some of the diverse nests birds build around the world. The birds' nests in this identification guide are arranged in the same order as they appear on the pages of this book, beginning on the cover and the title page with the ruby-throated hummingbird. The small drawing in the left margin is a miniature of the drawing above each poem. Ruby-throated hummingbird, United States. This is the only hummingbird that breeds east of the Mississippi River from southern Canada to the Gulf Coast, and winters mainly in the tropics. These tiny birds are particularly attracted to red flowers such as salvia, trumpet creeper, and hibiscus. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backward and hover in one spot like insects. They lay two white eggs in a woven nest of plant down held together with spider silk and decorated lichens. Laughing Kookaburra, Australia. This bird is common in Eastern Australia. It is a clever and persistent predator, hunting prey from a strategic perch. The Kookaburra is found in open eucalyptic tree forest, open rainforest, parks and suburban gardens. Its call is a loud, chuckling laugh, often in chorus with other members of its family. The nest is usually no more than an unlined hollow in a tree, where two, or two to four smooth, white, rounded eggs are laid. Spotted Pardalote, Australia. These small birds have short tails strong legs, and stout, blunt bills. They nest in holes in earth banks, dug usually by the male. He loosens soil with his bill and moves it back to the entrance, then swiftly kicks it a few inches beyond. The nest, a domed structure of bark fragments, is then constructed at the end of the tunnel, which may be one to two feet deep. Great Cormorant, worldwide. This bird prefers a habitat that includes extensive permanent water. Its diet of fish is supplemented by crabs, frogs, and large insects. Unlike other cormorants, it does not stay long underwater when diving for fish. The great cormorant breeds in colonies that range from a few to about 2,000 pairs. The large stick nest may be reused several times. These nests are usually in trees over water and often appear in the same area as ibises, egret, and other water birds' nests. Lotus bird, southern Philippines, eastern Indonesia, New Guinea, northern and eastern Australia, Preferring tropical and subtropical freshwater swamps and lagoons, the lotus bird favors extensive, deep, and permanent wetlands. Its long legs are ideal for wading, and elongated toes and claws help it walk on floating vegetation, such as water lilies. The lotus bird builds shallow nests on floating platforms made from the leaves of water plants. White Stork, Europe, Turkey, Iraq, Iran, Tunisia, North Africa. The White Stork generally builds its nests on chimneys, rooftops, or in trees. It adds to the nest every year, 
creating a huge structure. It lays three to six eggs from which only three chicks may reach maturity. Adult birds are very attentive parents, shielding their young from bad weather and other storks. Red-winged blackbird, North and Central America. Primarily a marsh bird, the red-winged blackbird will nest near any body of water. It raises two or three broods a season and then joins other blackbirds in flocks that can number hundreds of thousands. The nest is built by the female and consists of sedge leaves, rushes, grasses, rootlets, and mosses bound to surrounding vegetation with milkwood fibers and lined with fine grasses. Molly Fowl, Australia. This bird lives in dry molly scrubs of southern Australia. The male builds and tends the incubation mound, which consists of a hole filled with vegetation and covered with sand. The mound may reach 16 feet in diameter and 4 feet high. The female lays from 5 to 33 eggs in the mound, which keeps the eggs at a constant temperature. Fairy Martin, Australia. This bird is an accomplished builder, adept at repairing damaged nests and making new ones using many pellets of mud. They nest in large groups. As many as 700 nests have been found in one colony. Apart from using rock overhangs and caves, they also use man-made structures such as bridges, culverts, and drains to shelter their nests. Little Ringed Plover Europe, Africa, Asia, North Australia The most widely distributed of the small sand-colored plovers, the little ringed plover nests on the sandy shores of lakes, ponds, and rivers. The nesting hollow contains four small eggs particularly indistinguishable from the pebbles with which it is lined. Both male and female birds take turns incubating the eggs. Long-tailed tailor bird, India, southern China, Malaysia. This bird bends a large green leaf or several smaller leaves into a sort of cup, then using its beak as a needle it pierces holes in the edges and sews the leaves together by drawing threads, such as plant fibers or silk from spider's webs, through the holes. It then builds its nest of plant or animal down inside this cup. Snowy Owl, Arctic Region Snowy owls breed in the vast, level, treeless tr tundra of the lands surrounding the North Pole. Lemmings are the mainstay of their diet, and in years when these are scarce, the snowy owl either does not nest at all or lays only three or four eggs compared with double this number when food is plentiful. Rufus Fantail, Indonesia, New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and Australia. The Rufus fantail lives in dense forest, open timber, and urban areas. Its beautifully constructed wine glass nest is a compact cup of fine grass bound with spider's webs. The nest has a tail of grass that trails about five inches. Golden Weaver, Africa. The male golden weaver plays the dominant role in nest building. The nest, woven of grass, straw, and vegetable fibers, is generally suspended from the thinnest branches of a thorny acacia tree. False nests are sometimes built in an effort to protect the eggs and brood from egg-eating snakes. Weaver birds are so named because of their instinctive ability to build their nests by weaving together grass, straw, stems, and other vegetable fibers. 
These small social birds are found on the plains, sanava, savannas, and forests of Africa. Peregrine falcon. All continents except Antarctica. The peregrine falcon is a powerful predator that hunts other birds in flight. It does not build a nest. The eggs are laid in a shallow scrape in a ledge of a cliff or even on a well-placed skyscraper. Sometimes it takes over the stick nest of another species and the same nest may be used for hundreds of years.